because New Orleans, we are now about to transform into Mystic Falls for the next half hour. Please, New Orleans, give a warm New Orleans welcome to Mr. Paul Wilson! Directed movie. Like that was two questions, ma'am. No, then you just hey, snuck hey, in hey, a second question. Well, well that, I'm gonna I'm gonna tie it into your first question. I do plan on directing other shows right. and um, directing my own material, um, as well as producing things which I've already um, sort of sold. So I would uh, say that you can find me behind the camera um, a lot, and hopefully in front of the camera if I find the right piece of material. Yeah. People will still yeah. hire you. Yeah, exactly. Thank After you. being associated Thank with you, you, it'll be difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Well, we're, we're, we shoot in Atlanta. Walking Dead shoots in Atlanta. Maybe we can... Yeah, that would be pretty cool. It's supernatural, both, you know. So can we eat... What would happen if we ate a zombie? <laughs> would you get, like, a stomach ache? <laughs> yeah, we'd be like, Ugh, and that would be it. Because <laughs> they're all... Paul Wesley's hair only like it's like it's like um it's like that where you the guy can pull the sword out only one guy can do it in that legend. <laughs> Paul Wesley's hair can only be on Paul Wesley, or something terrible will happen to you. Like right. if you try to steal my hair, like shit, shit's gonna go down. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna. Okay. I got that part. Okay. Yeah. Now, I'm, yeah, I'd still be Paul Wesley. Yeah. Me too. I don't blame him. I feel like you just created a whole genre of fan fiction, the Paul Wesley hair fan fiction. Well, it already existed. We didn't have to create it. It's, it's there is fan fiction. Everyone meet my brother. He's very humble. <laughs> my, I'm, I'm not humble about my hair. I'm humble about other things, but not my hair. It's great hair. Um, I know, to be honest with you, there are some costume, but twist it and kind of do something your you own original take on it. Dressing up as a character you really, oh, really I see. like. <laughs> I'm overanalyzing it. Um, you know, when I was a kid, I used to watch He-Man. <laughs> Imagine Paul in like one of those little loin cloths. Yeah, just a lot just coming in with a loin cloth and a sword. That's it. That's Actually, no, no, I will make you the loin cloth. Uh, yeah? Can I borrow yours? You can borrow mine. <laughs> but I have to take it off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, parentheses, Paul's bitch. Ian. <laughs> so, I, you know... I would dress up as Invisible Man and I'd kick your ass. <laughs> That's the only way you could kick my ass, buddy. Nah, he's a boxer, so I don't, I don't like fighting, but he could probably kick my ass. <laughs> All right, thank you for your question. Thank you. Cologne do you guys wear? So I can totally <laughs> screw Now I specifically warned you not to get weird. What was the, what, I missed the second part. What cologne do you wear? Because she wants to spray it on in her room or. No, uh, on, on pillow beds. It has to be cool. How old are you? Fifteen. Huh? Fifteen. Okay, I can't tell you then. I have a cardboard. The dab goes off. You guys ever see Anchorman? Remember the, when he when he takes the Panther cologne? That's what it smells like. <laughs> <laughs> that smells. Are like you guys as bored over there as I am up here? I Mr. Ariel, yes. Mine's way more lighthearted. I promise. What's your favorite Disney movies? Disney what? Disney movies. Movies. Oh, the By sorcerer. The, way, the sorcerer. The sorcerer. Sorcerer. The sorcerer. Yeah, yeah that's good stuff. shit. <laughs> I really loved that. The Little Mermaid was a badass movie. <laughs> and Finding Nemo was. In, I cried like a little girl. Actually, it's not like a little girl. I cried like a little boy. Little boys actually cry harder than little girls. I cried like a little. Like you cry when you don't get your don't get it right, I start crying. <laughs> Brown chicken mountain. Uh, oh, I, was, I saw a trailer for the first one. I think I saw I, one. One on t one was on TV. Did you see one? Well, I didn't watch the whole thing. Not that I not that I wasn't interested. I mean, well, I don't. I, it was on TV, and I watched a few scenes. And, we never uh, wanted to watch them because we didn't want to compare anything. Yeah, well, it was in the beginning of uh, when Vampire Diaries was first sort of coming on the air, everyone was saying, oh, is it like a, a Twilight uh, ripoff or whatever? 
By virtue of the success of those Twilight movies, it allowed Warner Brothers to greenlight this show. Well, what did the brown chicken say to the brown cow? The brown chicken agreed with the brown cow. Um, you look, I, I think that um, that we can't, you know, they, they've been teasing it so much, you know, and it's a really wonderful relationship, and I do think there's going to be a level of, um, the hell is that? Um, Look, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it happened. I don't want to ruin it for you guys, you know what I mean? But, you know, um, it, 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 just keep watching. <laughs> Episode. Come on, teams. 122. All, all you guys, I need you to tweet about it. I need you to, I really want you to watch this thing. So that was Kai. And, uh, yeah. This Chris Boyce is crushing him. He's a great actor, and uh, he's got some good stuff coming up, too. He does have some good stuff coming up. Yeah, really good stuff. And this particularly in next week's episode. Um, Damon's got some serious... Damon and Stefan have some serious shit to go through. Shocking. Yeah. Uh, Sorry. Again? But there's some new stuff that deals with Kai that Damon has to do. I'm, damn, I'm trying to think now. There's also a character that has been a beloved character that's been a around for a while who's going to no, no longer be on the show. <gasps> you guys are the best. Sorry! Sorry that we bored the hell out of you, but we love you guys, and I love you, New Orleans and Louisiana. Thank you guys. Right, we love you guys. Thank you for the support.